Hello and welcome everyone to this auction video for this little uh, Nissan Leaf on a 17 plate with uh, 57,000 miles on the clock and uh, yeah in very nice condition it is too. I've just taken it for a drive up and down our local dual carriageway and can confirm it's a very nice little drive, very sprightly, happy little accelerator and yeah I couldn't fault it at all actually on the test drive. It's got every kind mod con you can imagine and uh, it's fully electric so uh, yeah nice and environmentally friendly as such and uh, yeah very good condition and um, I can't really actually find much damage at all on this one it's a little bit of a mark down here on the rear bumper and more markedly on this rear passenger door on the driver's side so yeah I'm gonna give you a full walk around now it's also a little mark here I've just spotted um, I'm gonna give you a, a good walk around now and show you any damage I can find we'll also have a look around the inside as well I've taken a bunch of photos of the exterior uh, some close-up ones and the wheels and tire tread depth um, so please do study those uh, photos for more information regarding its condition but I'm going to do the best I can now giving a little walk around video and pointing out any uh, little areas of damage etc so right okay let's have a look at it I mean in general for some reason this car is actually covered in some of these little white dots I would imagine think don't quote me on it but they may even polish off I'm not really sure but there does seem to be quite a lot of them just in general I don't know what's going on there and how they come to get there maybe it's just over spray polish or paint I really don't know what it is guys but there is a lot of that more so on this bonnet I find um, and let's just check the back end of it a few little ones here and there but nothing anywhere near as much as the front of the car so yeah it's worth noting that um, I'm not sure if that will clean off or not. So getting back to the damage, we've got some scratches here on this uh, front uh, offside bumper. And uh, yeah, I think this has seen some polish on it. I was taking some ex excess polish off it a minute ago. Um, there is a little bit of bird deposit here and there. I think that's bird deposit, or maybe that's all what to do with this uh, white dots. So maybe, maybe it's wax. I'm really not sure, but there's a lot of that on the car. So yeah, let's keep on moving around a bit of dried birds deposit. Uh, I've checked the operation of the um, charger area. That works fine. Um, we've got a, oh no, that's dirt. a little bit of a scuff going on here on the uh, front bumper. And again, this front bumper is just covered in these little white spots and probably some stone chips thrown in there as well that I can't quite see. Headlights look in lovely condition, nice and tidy. And uh, yeah, it looks actually quite a smart car. Didn't really think of myself as being a Nissan Leaf man, but I've actually quite enjoyed driving this one and having a look around it. Um, so let's see what else we can see. Again, more of these little white spots. Alloys are looking in very nice condition, I've got to say. There are some scuffs here and there though on the wheels. Um, this mirror has got a few marks. The passenger door has a few little scratches, zero emissions. Um, and yet a bit of dirt here and there. I think this car could just benefit from more of a clean up again, I think. And some light scratches here going along on the door. The passenger door looks to be good. Some marks here, I expect they will actually clean off yeah they will um and a few light scratches here and there i'm really picking holes here um let's have a look at this rear panel all looks good uh a few little marks here on the rear bumper side of the bumper and a few more down on the bottom of this bumper as well but otherwise looking good uh, a few little marks here on the load area scuffs here marks the actual boot door is looking good this rear window strangely is covered in some little scratches lots of little scratches so I don't know what's going on with this rear window but it's um, covered in lots of I don't know if that will focus yeah of these uh, 
scratches here so that's worth noting uh, the actual roof itself is looking good um, this quarter panel looks okay maybe this bumper's had a bit of a knock so it seems to be standing a bit proud here and uh, yes the sunk's gone on there at some point a few little light scratches here going on around the side and uh, what else have we got right this door here got some marks here going on through the driver's door again bits of dried wax and some scratches coming through here going right through onto the arch so it's worth uh, noting that and uh, yeah a few errors of damage there on the passenger door and uh, what else we've got here um, the driver's door not looking bad we've got some white residue on here i don't know if that's bird's muck or something to do with all this wax that i keep finding a few marks around the door handles as they are on both and on this one here as well so let's have a look on the inside lift up the boot and the boot seems to operate completely normally and supports its weight which is great and we've got a puncture, puncture repair kit some bose uh, acoustic system there is a bag here for the cable but i can't find the cable so i don't know where the cable has gone and all we've got here is uh, the uh, floor pan underneath so let's have a look on the inside electric windows tinted windows all round i've tested all the windows they work fine door cards are in good condition we've got a nice plush leather interior all looking very tidy and uh, very clean and presentable let's go around the other side and have a look okay again electric window tinted window door card looking good and again this interior looking almost like new so yeah very good quality bits and pieces there and uh, floor mats and carpets all looking nice and clean and coming around to the passenger side again tinted window door card looking good electric window works fine and the uh, leather interior looking very presentable as does the rest of the interior here so let's sit in and we'll have a look at all this service history Okay, so we're in, there's the door. Okay, so we have, uh, handbrake is off and is in park. We've got no warning lights uh, apart from the seatbelt light and a mileage of 57,901 miles. I had the air conditioning going whilst I was out driving it and that worked very well, very nice too. In these hotter weathers, the cameras work nicely. Uh, looks like a bit of a flicker, that's just my camera because of the refresh rate or frame rate, should I say. There you go, that's uh, managed to catch it up now. The actual camera on the car, um, and we have also have uh, sat nav as well, and that works absolutely fine as well with guidance and all the other toys. Um, yeah, aircon. Heated seats as well, those appear to work. I've not really tested them, those are a bit hot here today. Um, and some cup holders, and a little joystick. But yeah, all seems to work well. We've got crews, etc. Probably, if you're educated on these cars, you probably know all about it. Heated seat, uh, heated steering wheel as well. So we've got all the toys. And let's turn that fan off. Okay, so we have uh, two keys, which is nice, locking wheel nut, manuals, and uh, we have a couple of invoices and um, an MOT. The MOT runs out on the 23rd of March, 24, so a nice long MOT. Um, I expect there are, are some more servicing on this vehicle, but this is all I can find at the moment. If I find anything else, I will... Um, I will put it up as well. Oh, no, there is actually more here on the bottom. Sorry, I didn't see that. So let's have a look at that. So 
that one first, which is 2021. So we've got a service there. I've taken photos of all these, so please do study the photos if you want to have a longer look at these. Um, yeah, you've got all your different services there going on 2018, uh, 2019 and 21. Obviously the servicing is different to uh, a normal aspirated vehicle. We haven't got oil, fil oil and oil filters to be noted. But yeah, uh, I guess they go through their tests and health checks, etc. Driving conditions were normal, noted at those stages in its life. But this invoice here is for the 30th of November 21. And we've got a health check. Again, I've taken photos of all this lot. So check the, um, the listing on the actual auction. And you can have a closer look at all of that. And uh, yeah, just a health check basically and seeing that the battery's in good health. And the same one in 22 here, we've got some more uh, inputs here for the history in uh, 2018, 19, 21, 22. Uh, yeah, this one is for 22 in uh, November 22. Um, and yeah, again, another service summary with a health check with lots of green ticks, which we wanna see. And that was for last year. Uh, another bit of a uh, another health check there and um, battery condition. So yeah, all looking good and positive from a service standpoint. I wouldn't say that is. I don't know if that's a full service history. It may well be. Um, I will double check that and uh, we'll list it accordingly to what I find on the history. Let's have a look under the bonnet. I've not actually looked under the bonnet yet. Let's have a look. See what's under here. Oh dear. That seems a bit stiff. Okay, it's so. up. So it's a little bit dirty under here and dusty, but um, yeah, a few cobwebs, etc. Uh, but that's what you get with your electric uh, Nissan Leaf. So yeah, benefit from a little bit of cleaning under here, but um, it's not horrendous. And uh, nothing really much for me to show you, apart from the noise, the cooling fan, that all looks good. No oil leaks, surprisingly. So, uh, right, let's put the bonnet back down. We go right it's closed so there we go guys a nice little nissan leaf i uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video and happy bidding